to growing your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button this video is about an update on my leaf mold composting as well as tips one would ask what is leaf mold well leaf mold is the result of letting leaves sit and decompose over time simply put leaf mold is fully decomposed leaves that leave you with a rich earthy scent and a dark crumbling texture since leaves are considered brown, composting materials and are predominantly carbon, they take longer to decompose than an active compost pile, approximately one or two years. So this particular leaf mold is two years old. So what I did is I just laid it underneath the shrubs in my compost alley, as I like to call it. And this bag was super full up to here and because it rains and it snows it get, gets moisture with all the holes in it but also I would have to water it throughout the seasons just to keep it moist so let's open this bag and see what it looks like wow look at this look at this this is remarkable this is the result of leaf mold. Look at that. Look at that. This is the result of leaf mold. So this is two years of just leaves. Just only leaves. Nothing more, nothing less. Just leaves being allowed to break down over a two year period. And as you can see, it has broke down into a very moist, moist crumbling material one good thing about leaf mold is they hold a lot of moisture so you can use this leaf mold as a mulch on top of your plants your container pots and it will hold considerably a lot of uh, moisture as well as provide all kinds of nutrients to your soil so there are a few sticks in here that did not get decomposed totally and I will just go ahead and put those back in my compost. But I just want to let you know this is the result of two years of leaf mold composting. Now I want to take you to a pile of leaves that I am going to start a new bag of leaf mold composting. Method. I like to use when leaf mold composting is using a large black bag that I punch holes in. And I've raked up my fall leaves and I'm just going to scoop them in the bag just like this. I'll go ahead and use a shovel to make the process a lot easier. So I'm just going to fill this back up with my fall leaves, just like this. This is another way of keeping your leaves from the landfill and creating other types of composting other than just your regular standard composting. So if you have surplus leaves that you don't know what to do with and you want to have the ability to benefit from the leaves, consider trying leaf mold composting. So I'm going to try to keep all this in here. And let me go get a rake. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to just rake up the rest of the leaves. This is my third bag of leaf mold composting. So I had a lot of leaves left over. By the time I added it to my composting, 
because I have a huge locust tree in my front yard. I had surplus leaves. So I've already dipped two bags of leaf mold composting. This is the last bag and this is the last pile of my leaves. And guess what? None of these leaves went to the landfill. I always find use for my leaves to put back into my landscape. Now that I have the last pile of leaves that I'm going to use for my leaf mold composting, the next thing I want to do is water it down really good. I needed to turn on my water. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a, a good drench, and water it down really good. I want the leaves to stay moist. Now, although it's winter time, you do want to keep the leaves moist, especially through the summer months. Now with the snow and rain, that helps keep moisture in the bag, but also, in the summer months when it's hot and dry, you do want to remember to at least water once a month. So now that I have the leaves in my bag and you can see the water dripping out, you see the holes, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a good tie. There you have it. So this is ready to set for the next two years in order to um, compost. And this is my third leaf mold bag composting I've done this season. So I'm gonna put it back where my other leaf mold composting was. So I'm gonna set this fresh bag of leaf mold composting right where the other one was. And over time, the bag gets smaller, the leaves start decomposing and breaking down. I always remember to water the bag once a month because this is my compost alley, if you will. And again, I have two more bags in the corners of my backyard. The cool thing about it is there's nothing you have, have to do. There's no turning, no uh, moving the bag around. Just put the water on the bag where the holes are give it a good drench of water, especially during the summer months when there's no rain. We do get snow during the summer, as you realize that sometimes, I don't know if there was snow on the, no, there was a snow on the last bag, but a couple of days ago, this whole bag was full of snow. So it does get plenty of moisture during the winter months, and in the spring when it rains, it gets plenty of moisture. But if you're feeling the months are dry, just water it. Check it just to make sure that it's moist. And in two years, I would have what I showed you earlier, leaf compost mold. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have surplus of leaves and you don't know what to do with them, consider leaf mold composting. It holds three times its weight in moisture and it's an opportunity to use that as a mulch to keep moisture around your plants and your containers. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.